Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you my what I call an hypersonic build. Uh, there are two weapons, main weapons which I use. Uh, the one that I actually prefer is this one, the daggers. Uh, and I have two builds for it. One is with uh, uh, Radiance, which helps keep me alive. Uh, this is without crit, but it's committed. 1% bonus damage. Uh, and uh, Rampaging, which increases the speed. Uh, Ready, of course, to keep me alive. The other one is with crit and committed damage and radiance. And I have other builds with this, but uh, as you soon see in gameplay, this is just shredding everything. Now, the other thing use the armor, I don't have a good armor, but potion barrier, I use it just in case I kind of overrun with many enemies. I just need this extra time in order to uh, eliminate them, and I can do this very fast. So I have it on 9 seconds, maximize damage reduction. Potion cooldown is great because you can so it's just a smoother gameplay uh, when you have it. But of course, you can uh, get some with even faster, uh, faster melee or better damage. And in the gameplay, I'm going to show you actually uh, switch to even faster um, uh, attack speed. Uh, again, uh, this one lighting harp is just for uh, you know pushing away uh, some enemies when you just pour a bit some a bit time or exploders for example even exploders I don't care of them because I eliminate enemies so fast uh, here I'm actually using death cap mushroom two of them which increase the speed again it's all about speed keeping this momentum of speed really really long uh, so you can eliminate enemies without issues uh, if there are big enemies or those who actually want to eliminate fast and instead of spending a lot of time on them I just use the gong and just you know just <laughs> they just add this almost instantly uh, and this is also good for bosses you can limit even the last boss uh, in like uh, two seconds with this one this is just super powerful uh, I eliminated the boss I think like uh, sometimes at five three two seconds and if I had a better equipment I can probably insta kill it but I haven't tried just yet all right so again uh, I'm using the daggers uh, two options here that I use uh, the, the, the emphasis is on speed uh, as you can see I have rampaging uh, and I have this one and this is going to be just crazy just they, the enemies like they, they feel like they're made of paper all right so let's just jump into get some gameplay so we can see actually how it plays now again it depends on your favorite playstyle mine is just printing damage all over the map uh, and uh, if I use the other one, you can see lots of crits. Uh, and again, the other goal is trying to survive uh, damage. And as you can see here, the Radiance just shines all over the place. So it will be very, very hard to kill. And if you see like you are getting a bit too damage, as I told you, uh, you just need to use the potion. Uh, the potion barrier uh, every maxed out on 9 second duration. And this will be make the enemies uh, day so bad. So it doesn't matter which enemy it is, any type of enemy uh, you can deal with this, as I told you, even bosses, it's very hard, you can even finish the last boss in Apocalypse 6 uh, in like a few seconds, uh, you know, it depends on the setup and uh, this is not even maximized. What you see here is not even with an armor with extra damage and extra attack speed, none of those and it's still super super fast. So if you have an armor with extra speed, uh, which I'll show you a bit later, you can see it's even faster. Now the cool thing about the speeds is uh, that the radiance takes place, you know, uh, so fast, and this is what helps uh, keep you alive. And uh, if you combine this one with the mushroom uh, uh, increased attack and movement speed, uh, as well as the uh, rampaging, which provides you as a 10 chance to increase your attack speed by 50% plus 50%. For a short time, and in my case, because it's maxed out, it's 15 second duration. This is just crazy. And of course, because it's 15 seconds, it's like having this all the time. Almost all the time. But of course, this you need to eliminate enemies in order to trigger it. And if you're already fighting many enemies, it's going to be triggered with such a fast attack speed. As you can see, printing damage like crazy. Uh, you're just passing through enemies like there are nothing. And I think it feels really fun, uh, really fun just going through enemies and just deleting them one by one. Now, although this uh, build doesn't have, doesn't use a weapon that has a large area of damage, still, uh, because you limit enemies so fast, uh, you know, you just pass through them like they are nothing. So, you know, it just takes so, it's so fast that you don't really bother with even if there are many enemies and you just eliminate them one by one or 
you know we can eliminate like a group a large a large con but still it's super super fast and pay attention to the radiance uh, when I play as you can see the radiance because of the speed heals you like crazy and my radiance is 527 which is crazy here I'm just changing something to uh, give me a further melee attack speed as you can see <coughs> plus 25 so now it's going to be even faster and if you combine all these buffs of speed that I told you uh, you can see why it's super fast you can even hear that sometimes you can even hear the sound of the slash because they are so so fast you just you just hear like whew. Again, this is Apocalypse, the hardest difficulty. And again, just it doesn't matter which level you go, which uh, which enemy you just uh, fight against. This just melts everything. Of course, part of the fun is experiencing with different builds. As you can see, it's dam look at the damage. Look at the damage. You can't even hear the attacks. It's just something like smooth because it's so fast. Now, if you pick up any potion, just think about that, how crazy it is. Like you see here. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there can be hundreds, if not thousands of enemies around me. I don't care. And sometimes if I see that I get a bit of hit and just use the potion, like you see here, uh, and just sometimes you stuck, you don't, it just doesn't hit an enemy. It's, it happens, it rarely happens, but it happens sometimes. So I use it. If there are many exploders, I can use it as well to protect myself. So, and because I have a very fast cooldown on my um, armor, I can use it very often. Now let's check out the last boss with the daggers. See how fast it can go. So you can see that you can even beat bosses with this. It's, it's really easy. <laughs> oh my god. Now again, you can further optimize and make things even better. And of course, I don't have the optimal... Uh, uh, armor that I want and uh, you can find better things uh, that can even improve it even better so what you see here is not like the maximum I mean damage output that I can put out but this setup is not hard to get uh, and uh, you can really become super powerful uh, with it and eliminate everything on the way bosses that doesn't matter what it just melts everything so this is my hypersonic build I hope you see enjoy it uh, and uh, try it yourself it's really fun, I mean, there's no challenge here, really, everything, just mess everything. Uh, and it has very good survivability, fantastic damage, it's really fun to use. You can use the other daggers, uh, you know, you can even put crit if you like their punchy feeling and can deal lots of damage as well, uh, which I also have. Uh, again, this is just more constant damage and I really enjoy using it. And you see the radiance is just shining all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, tell me what you think about this build uh, and possible more builds uh, in the near future. So consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Cheers.